Hello and welcome to GTE Forms 3.x, Functional Fluid Forms for PeopleSoft. The Fluid eForm series walks you through creating an award nomination form, where a user can nominate an individual or a team for a cash bonus. This video demonstrates quick functional form creation, how to get a form up and running without a techie. Let's get started. Navigate to the GTE Forms Framework Form Setup page and add a new form. Enter some form descriptions and activate your form. The Pages tab is where you'll create form tasks, pages, segments, and fields. Form tasks are set up for different ways users interact with forms. End users add, update, and view a form, and approvers evaluate a form. This Generate button automatically creates a navigation collection link for my form. Add a title for your first page. Then add some instructions that will appear at the top of the page. Now let's add a segment and some fields on the first page. This segment collects some nomination information. You can use a PeopleSoft field or just center labels, and the system will automatically create PeopleSoft fields in the background to support the fields you're putting on the page. Now that we have our first segment, let's create another for employee information. I want the user to be able to select the employee from a prompt. Watch the data pool video next to see how to set up a prompt and default the employee and other job information using configuration. Let's create a segment to collect information on a team of people. GTE Forms lets you create a grid segment on a form. This grid segment lets us select multiple employees and enter a nomination amount for each person. This last segment will total all the award amounts. We'll look at how that's accomplished in the technical extension videos. Finally, add a second page to the form to display form results. This page will show workflow and logging information. The results page is delivered with the GTE Forms framework. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's check out our pages, segments, and fields right now. The GTE Forms framework automatically generates a navigation collection. I use the PeopleSoft tile wizard to create this fluid tile that leads to it. Click the link to start the award nomination form. Here's a quick fluid form with segments and fields. Enter nomination information, individual employee information, team information, and a total award. Click the submit button to get to the results page. There's no workflow yet, but you can see logging information for this form. Now I want to add some data intelligence. I want the employee ID prompt to show a list of employees the user can select. And why should a user have to enter the employee's name, department, supervisor, and email address when the system already knows that information? Let's use the data pool to configure the lookup, display the employee name, and default other employee information. Navigate to the GTE form setup, then to the employee ID field. Click the field details icon to access more field settings and expand the advanced window pane. Open the data pool and add a record that can be used as a prompt. Join up the key fields and save it. Back on the field setting windows, enter the prompt settings. That's it. Let's take a look. Now when I click the employee ID prompt, I can select from a list of employees on the personal data record. How about displaying the employee name that I see in the prompt window? Back on the Employee ID field, 
add related description settings. I'm going to use the same record from the data pool and indicate I want to show the name display. There, that's better. OK, how about defaulting the other employee information? Let's add a couple more records to the data pool, one that has job information and another with email addresses. Use the update settings to default field values. For the department field, use the department from the job record. And for the email field, use the email address from the email addresses record. I can set up all kinds of data, like the supervisor and supervisor name, and don't forget about a lookup to select employees on the team segment. Now let's take another look. This form really saves time and improves accuracy by displaying and defaulting information the system already knows. In this video, we'll make the user experience dynamic using the Logic Engine. Let's start with showing only the individual awards segment when nominating an individual. Navigate to GTE Form Setup, then to the individual awards segment. This if icon lets us configure a GT visual if. A visual if is a logical statement to decide whether something is true. Click the icon to open the Logic Engine. Configure an expression to show the individual nomination segment when this statement is true. The nomination type field is equal to I for individual, and only when the user has actually made a selection for that field. Then name it and save it. Next, let's set up a condition on the team segment. Click the visual if on the team segment and configure it to show if the nomination type is equal to T for team. Let's hide the total amount until the nomination type is selected as well. OK, let's take a look. Now when the form opens, I have to select the nomination type. Then the form shows me the segment I need to fill out. The Logic Engine provides powerful configuration options, and you can set them up all over the GTE Forms framework, even for a single field. Let's set up the Achievement Details field to show just for individual nominations. Click the Field Details icon to access more field settings. Use the Show setting and update it to Dynamic, and configure a visual if. I'm going to use a saved visual if to make configuration even easier. Now this expression will also decide if this field should show. The result is a conditional and dynamic form that responds to user input. In this video, we'll configure a flexible approval workflow. GTE Forms leverages PeopleSoft Approval Framework, or AWE, but we've extended Approval Framework to make it more user configurable. Navigate to GTE Form Setup. Then to the Workflow tab. Select a Gideon Taylor Delivered Definition ID, or you can also create your own and use them here. For each of the three approval steps, configure who approves at each step and whether a step is conditional. Click the Participation Roster icon to open the Roster Engine. The Roster Engine allows you to easily build a flexible user list. Let's start with everyone in the Department Approver role. However, we don't want a form to go to every department approver in the organization. So using set logic, we can intersect department approvers with people who have department security to this employee. And just in case, let's also include the delegates for those approvers. This narrows it down to approvers with department security and their delegates. OK, let's configure the other steps. 
For each of these steps, we'll use a visual if again to route to an approver if the visual if is true. Route to the second approver for awards over 1,000, and the third approver only for awards over 3,000. If the total amount doesn't meet these criteria, step two and three will be skipped. Now we have a robust workflow and a form that's already interactive. Let's also add a reminder for users if they're requesting an award that's over the normal limits. We'll do that with an action item. An action item acts like a checklist for users before they submit a form. Start on the action item tab and configure a message. Make it conditional with a visual if, then click save. Let's submit a form with an action item. A user has to check the action item before submitting. Now our results page includes a workflow visualizer, and we can see all the pending steps, including who the approvers are at each pending step. In this video, we'll configure eForm notifications to alert users to form activity in the system. Alerting users to form activity is critical to keeping business running smoothly. You can configure notifications to alert pending approvers, send a submission or approval receipt to the form creator, or notify anyone in the organization about a transaction that affects their business. GTE Form supports email and worklist notifications. You can build your own worklist links using dynamic fields to make it easier for people to sort and scan their worklist. or configure email templates. Email templates can be plain text or HTML. Insert dynamic content into email using smart sources. Here's an email receipt for the form submitter, letting them know their award form was approved. Next, set up your notification triggers. Navigate to the Form Setup page and click the Notifications tab. Set up a worklist notification to approvers when a form is routed to them. Set up the email to the submitter. Use the email prompt to search for the template you created. Use the Participation Roster Engine to configure the recipient list. Use the visual if to write a conditional statement for any notification. You might want to include some other common notifications, like when a form is denied, recycled, or withdrawn. Now approvers will see all their pending award forms on the work list, and email recipients receive the right notification at the right time with dynamic content so they can keep up to date with transactions right from their inbox. Using GTE forms, you can build powerful, functionally configurable forms that can actually meet business requirements. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos in this series for advanced form topics and technical extensions.